Hello and welcome to part 2 of my video tutorial on how to turn Windows XP into a Mac OS X Leopard or Snow Leopard, whatever. Okay, now if you do not watch part 1, there will be a link in the description. But the first thing we are going to do is simply go into Applications and go into RK Launcher. Now you're just going to install that and when you do one second. You're just going to install that, and when you do, there will be an uh, either in your start menu or an icon will appear on your desktop. One sec. Okay, there we go. So I have the icon on my desktop, but I don't know how. You're just going to go into start menu, all programs, RK Launcher, and then click on it, and this should appear. Well, yours won't have all this stuff like mine does. Ooh, I don't have that much battery left. But anyways, how much battery do I have left? Okay, I have enough. So, anyways, there. This is just like, like, let's say I want to open up Safari. I've got Safari right here, so I can just dump, and it will open like magic. Now, if you want to add stuff, you will just drag it on, and it will appear. Now let's say I want to change the icon. I can just right click it, dock item properties, custom icon, change icon, and then let's say I want this icon, quick time. There, and then I close it, and you've got that. But I'm gonna, whoa, sorry. Okay, exit is how you close out of it. I don't want to exit, so I'm just gonna double click this. Okay, and if I don't want it, you can just click it hold on and drag it out no poof so that's pretty much the final Mac look all you have to do now is download Mac sound oh no no there's more sorry go to icons taskbar icons and install Mac sound now Mac sound is the little sa volume control logo for Mac install and Mac Sound has been installed. And I'm going to start, which you can do by clicking the top left corner. All programs, Land Vermesser, Mac Sound, Mac Sound. And this will appear. And you can just control. Now, what we're going to do is go into properties, hide inactive icons, customize, and always hide everything. Just hide everything, always hide. Except for what you want to show. So I always always hit everything. So then press OK. And then apply. And you'll get this. I, I have my wireless stuff displaying. Because I think that's important. That Mac sound actually does work. It actually does control your volume. So that's cool. Now. We're going to get icon tweaker. Yeah. Gonna go into main icons, desktop icons aren't important. And go into icon tweaker. Install that once you do, the Leopard XP ITA will have this little icon tweaker logo. Only after you install icon tweaker. Double click on it. And it'll load. And yes, I do. And then click on Leopard XP Blue. Double click it. And then press apply. And it will become, there we go. Notice everything gets different, like, there. You can see the new icons. So that's kind of cool. Now, let's, now. We don't have much left. But we have to get a styler toolbar. The link to this will be in the description. And, you'll have to download styler. Double click this. Next. 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 Um, close. And then, what to do in all programs? It'll styler. Oh, yeah, you just install it and then. All programs. Styler. Styler. Then a little icon should appear up here. Double click it. 
and you can change your toolbar. Now, you don't know how to use these toolbars, so I will show you. But first, when you go into Styler, go into Info, and set it on TB mode. And I'm just going to activate these toolbars really quick. But here's what you do when you have them. You first you download them, then you go into Documents. Well, the toolbars, sorry about my baby brother in the background. And then you just go into... Um, what's is it this? No, that's something else. Crap. Um, it's somewhere. Let me just find it. <laughs> Mac mods. There you go, leopard style toolbar. Then you're just gonna go now you're gonna go into computer HP recovery E. Oh yeah, to enable this to make it look like this once you have it, you're going to go into uh everything is unchecked except for the styler toolbar. No standard buttons or anything. But what you're gonna do Oh crap, I, I think I went down. That's so how you're gonna go to your local disk, program files, styler, uh, TB, skins, stylers. Then you're just gonna. Okay, the one with tabs doesn't really work, so just do no tabs. And you just drag it in, and then. Yes. Okay, whatever. So, then when you open up Styler, um, when you open up Styler, and go, and go into TB, select Leopard, or no, I'm going to do Leopard, no tabs, because the tabs don't really work, they just, they just look cool, so, now you've got that. Okay, part three will show how to. Wait a second, is there anything more I need? To do? Oh, yes, the final thing you need to do is. Well, no, the next to final is going. You're gonna go into range icons by and uncheck show desktop icons. Your icons will display the desktop. And boom. And now you're looking like a Mac. If you want to find out how to get the Mac login screen and and boot screen for when you turn on the computer, check out part three. But unless you don't want that, you're done. Good job.